With a budget showdown looming in Washington, finding a solution to one of the few issues that both parties and the president could agree on could actually be pushed back. Thanks for joining us here at 5 o'clock. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Christiane Klein. Now, President Trump's $1.5 trillion infrastructure plan could be on the table for lawmakers to tackle in the coming year. So how great is the need for that money here? Our Patrick Walker is live near Desert Inn in Highland with a look. Patrick? Well, Christiana Denise, you know, when you look at the big picture scorecard, our country's bridges, roads, and other infrastructure didn't fare very well. It scored a D plus. Nevada, however, did better, scoring a C. When you look around your neighborhood, how do the roads and power lines and transit systems look? The American Society of Civil Engineers has released report cards for every state. Nevada averaged a C score in 12 categories, an improvement from the C minus on the last scorecard in 2014. Chuck Joseph headed up the report card committee for Nevada. We have two major metropolitan areas, Las Vegas and Reno, that you know, are on a real upswing and a real uptrend. We've got a higher level of investment going on in both those areas. And then the rural counties that we have, they have a lot of needs, but not as, as, as great a, a means, I should say. On the high end, Nevada scored B minuses for its public parks, bridges, sewer and power grids, the state's 30 public airports, roads, solid waste facilities, and stormwater networks scored right in the middle with a C. RTC General Manager Tina Quigley says there's a lot of room for improvement and fuel revenue indexing money will fund about $3 billion worth. As we let those out, we see a lot of orange cones, we see a lot of work, but that also means that we're building a solid foundation for infrastructure for the next generations to come. The report gives the state's drinking water network a C-, citing a need to invest more money to keep up with projected growth over the next two decades. The state's 17 school districts also received a C-. And Nevada ranks poor in one category, earning a D plus when it comes to the 656 state regulated and 282 federally regulated dams. The dams, a lot of uh, the backlog and funding would come through the uh, Water Resources uh, Development Act from uh, the federal government. Funding is also a key concern in almost all of the 11 other categories graded. And that report includes a, uh, an interactive component to it so that you could go and see how each of the 12 categories that were included were scored and the justifications for such. You can find that on our website, lasvegasnow.com. For now, reporting live, I'm Patrick Walker, 8 News Now.